Alright guys, I am back with my WWE Raw review 47th of the 9th 2015. This week's Raw, I would say this week's Raw was a lot, this week, week's Raw was good. I would say it, it was a lot better from last week. It wasn't like I was sitting there for three hours and saying, why am I watching this shit and stuff like that. It was a good show and I really liked it. It was like, a reason why, uh, uh, probably the reason why I liked this Raw was probably Sting and Seth Rollins. The, the interactions through, all, through most of this Raw was between those two guys. I liked it and also they planted a few other future feuds like, a few, like Triple H and Seth Rollins. Which I've talked about before in videos and I'm glad they're planning on that for a Survivor Series match hopefully down the road or maybe a Royal Rumble which is very good. I'm glad they're planting the seeds for that and slash for the Raw. Because they can do slow build up anyway, but it looks like they're going to do Bayface Triple H again, which I don't mind, but I would like to see a Bayface Seth Rollins, because he would benefit more than Triple H would, you know what I mean? Triple H is at the end of his career, and Rollins is just, like, really at the peak of his career, basically, because he's the, you know, WWE US Champion, whatever, and he should, you know, get the bigger... Bayface push then Triple H should because Triple H is winding down his career. That's what I think anyway, but I'll talk about that in a separate video. Like when the feud actually starts getting good, I'll talk about that in a separate video because it needs to, I don't want to have a real good talk about that. But basically, uh, Raw comes up with Raw is coming out and he's basically saying, I want my, I want, he basically just saying, I want my statue back because he, he says his brain, whatever's going to be, Sting, typical Sting's going to be saying. Sting says, well, if you want to get, if you want your statue back, Seth, you're going to have to basically come and find me. I'm in the arena somewhere, but you're going to come and find me. Uh, then backstage, uh, he's still pissed off, and then he's telling Stephanie, well, you better get Triple H around here because he has a pride, and we should all work something out together. And Triple H's like, I'm your man. And he was like, what the hell are you saying? And I'm like, oh, totally. Like, like yeah, you, you can tell that they're not going to have Triple H stuff at all. But like I said, uh, Triple H says, you know what? I was still going to compete in two matches, and I checked because he says, basically, well, you're going to get, uh, you're going to have, uh, you know, prepare for those two matches because uh, you're gonna be in two matches tonight on Raw so they so yeah Raw just puts the two matches like okay I can do this and like whatever and then the first match tonight is Paige versus Sasha Banks this was an awesome this was a really good match I really enjoyed the Stevens match it wasn't these match like oh and the match it wasn't like that it was like my god this was a good match and these are two women that the WWE have you know, really need to start, you know, I've pushed very well, I think I've brought in very well though, really, I mean, Paige debuted last year and won two Divas titles, which was pretty awesome, and then a mini heel run, and Sasha Banks is slowly, gradually, with this BAD group, is slowly kind of getting there in the Divas division, I think that's really good, and Sasha Banks wins with the roll-up, it was, a, it was a, you know, it was a really good match, it was an enjoyable match, a lot of back and forth, and this is what I want to see from the WWE. Is I don't want to see five minute match. I don't want to really see five minute shit match from the WWE. I want to see good wrestling matches like this because I miss like women wrestling like this. Page and House Rex. This was like really good women wrestling. It was really good. Uh, then we get to the second match, which is Ambrose and Reigns versus the Ascension. They base Reigns wins with a spear. With, with a spear, hits a spear on. Connor and then Reigns is the dirty deed on Victor. Also, the, the third, um, the third member, of the, the the shield pick, Randy Orton as the third uh, teammate for Night Champions against the Wyatts. Uh, then we get to a segment where Rad, where Renee interviews Ryback and Rats says he's going to beat Rollins tonight. Kevin Owens comes up and also we do also plans in the seats for Kevin Owens and Ryback feud at Night Champions with the title. So that's going to be pretty interesting. I'm glad that they're going to have a good feud for Kevin Owens and Ryback, which is really good. Uh, I'm really excited to see if Kevin Owens and Ryback feud, though. I, I, you know, those two interact on Raw, that was really good. I like that. Um, yeah, but yeah, Rollins and Ryback, it was a slow match, but it was alright. Sting, it was an alright match. Sting distracts Seth Rollins, and then Sting distracts Rollins, and then basically Ryback wins the roll up. I don't know if it made Rabbit weak or not, maybe should have won with a shell shot because he's a big guy and I don't know. 
But yeah, it, it was an alright match. I mean, it's a segment where basically Rollins is pissed off, and then the New Day is doing the funny, uh, basically still pissing him off. He's like, guy, focus on the main event. I've got problems, like with with like Sting and whatever and Cena. And then Edge and Christian come up and and, and he basically says, you want a piece of me? Like Edge is like, and then Rollins is like, not tonight, not tonight, Rollins, not tonight, Edge. And then, and then like Team 3D come up and challenge basically the new, uh, tell the New Day that he'll win his PTP and New Day tag match next week on Brazil face Team 3D and now champions so that was an, another match we announced. Uh, then we, oh, then we get this shit, Lana, Bruce, and Dolph, oh my god this was so terrible. Oh, this was like... This is a base lo this Rusev, Dolph, Lana and Summer Rekid. Oh my god, this is so terrible. Oh we're gonna continue in this shit. No. Oh my god. Okay, so this so this segment here, we basically had a video package twice re recapped on Rock talking about the whole thing about Summer Rae and Dolph having this I don't know thing for each other and basically the oh my god and then you've got Summer Rae crying for Rusev oh it's just total shit and this is why I don't like shit like this on television it's horrible Ugh. but yeah it, it, the segment lasted about five or ten minutes I think it was a very bad segment it was too damn long please end the sit night champions Dolph could do a lot better as I said before and so could Rusev and uh, it's so bad. Please, if you want to have Lana and basically Summer Rae feud, please win the Divas Division, not have them feud, which affects two great wrestlers in Dolph and Rusev. Oh, just please do not do that. Oh, do not drag Dolph and Rusev in a Divas feud. No, don't have any wrestler in a Divas feud. Basically, any you know, because be well, because basically they're terrible anyway. Well, some do speed up. It depends what feud you like, but yeah. Uh, uh, then after that, the fourth match of Orton vs. Sheamus. Orton vs. Sheamus, the bro kick, and Orton vs. the bar KO. End of the feud there, thank God for that. After that, Bray Wyatt basically attacked, the White family attacked Randy Orton, and destroyed him because they know that he's the, he's going to team up with Reigns and Ambrose at night champ, so they attacked him. Um, then we get to the fifth match tonight, which was Team 3D versus the Lost Master Doris. Uh, the Lost Master Doris turned heel and, and attacked the ball. Uh, they got 3D by Team 3D, and that's how Team 3D won the match. They got pissed off. Then one, uh, one of the Lost Master Doris members get put through the table, basically. So basically, Lost Master Doris are, 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 he are heels now, and they ditch the ball. So basically, that is the end of Lost Master Doris. Not interested, though. Uh, then we got to the sixth match tonight, which was Miz vs Cesaro. It was a count out match because Bishop came out and tried to basically knock up the Miz for trying to get the Miz from last, trying to get his revenge on Miz from last week. And then Cesaro gets killed, put by the Big Show. So it looks like Big Show and the Miz are going to do that night, at night champions on the pre show. So that's probably going to be a pre show match there. Then we get to a segment where Nikki Bell's talking about this towel ring, which she is not on the she was champion, it was actually with Trish Stratus. But she had to like, you know, give the towel ring up because she was injured, but she didn't give the towel up because she was injured, but she didn't have to really push the title up, you know what I mean, but yeah. Uh, but basically, PC, PCB, or whatever, I mean, PC, yeah. PCB basically have a brawl with the Bellas, and that was the end. It was a short segment, which was good, really. Uh, seventh match tonight, which was New Day and Rollins versus Cena and PTP. Cena uh, AA's uh, call for the win. Um, before the no, match was also had a lot of high spots you know, with Rollins, Cena, and stuff like that. But I, before I talk about that, Rollins comes out and a, a lot, loads of loads of wrestlers are talking about this. A fan jumps over the barricade and walks. Down the ramp with Seth Rollins. I thought it was awesome. I don't know why they did that because they would know that, like, who, if they ever went back to a WWE live event, they would know their face and they would go, like, 
you know, like your van because you, you know, you walk down the ramp and you're not allowed to. Because everybody knows when you go to a wrestling event, if it's a WWE live event or it's a, a TNA or a Ring of Honor or wherever you go for a wrestling event, wherever it's a house show or it's an actual pay per view, whatever it is, you know the rules, you have rules and regulations when you go there. And when you go to a live event, and when you eventually go into a, like a Raw and Smackdown and you want to, especially when you go to like pay per views and Raw and Smackdown and TNA shows, you don't go on the ramp and walk over. You know you're going to get banned. They tell you before you get to the show, you're not allowed to walk. <coughs> you're not allowed to walk on the ramp with the wrestlers. Unless it's, unless it's WrestleMania access or some sort of access. You're not allowed to basically take pictures of the wrestlers, um, of wrestling matches, when they're starting because it's flash time and stuff like that. And other things like that. Um... So yeah, and this guy, this guy or whoever it was, got over the barricade. What's over Seth Rollins? What was security doing? I don't know. Not know. Were he asleep? Were he drinking coffee? I don't know. But basically, I don't know how this guy like jumps over the barricade, but nobody noticed him. And I was like, what the fuck is this guy out here for? It seems like, like, hey, get this guy out. And they, they got him out. The, they got him out anyway. And I think they got him out the building anyway. But like I said, yeah, they need to really strengthen up on that security a bit more. Uh, this thing put, and then um, at the end of the match, Sting is on the time trial, and he goes, "Seth, do you know where I am? I'm, I'm, I'm backstage near a trash can." And he throws it in the, tr and he throws it in the trash, and it gets destroyed. And Moses like, like really pissed off, and like having it, like he's like real super pissed off, and that's how Raw ended basically. So yeah, Raw this week. I would say it was a good show because it built up some future feels like Kevin Owens, Ryback, Triple H and Seth Rollins and everything like that. I thought it was really good. So my overall thought, so my, my overall thoughts of Raw, I thought it was a good show and that's what I'm going to say. So that's my daily Raw review for the 7th of the 2015. What did you guys think of this week's Raw? Leave your thoughts in the comments and that's what you guys